Why would that have been a shot? That was a uh, Maybe it's the dead rat you got around the neck. Huh? Oh, it's about to eat. I don't want to sleep here tonight. Who said that? Take 89. Wait. Actors, get ready. Quiet, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to CNN. I'm Brady Cross. Tonight's top stories, what may have been the single most stupidest crime in history, has taken place. A 50-year-old man, approximately 5'9", 170. What? That was perfect. A couple of switching errors here, and uh, the mic wasn't up. So we're going to do it again. Stand by, 30 seconds. How did the mic not be up? How did the mic possibly not be up in this stage? <laughs> Tanya's doing the sound. Oh, that's why. Another <laughs> <laughs> little animosity happening on the set. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Adam didn't bring the lattes. <laughs> <laughs> We're over that. We don't need a latte. I'm really hungry. Yeah, me too. I don't need a latte. <laughs> My hair is bugging me. You're all in the day. We're restarting. <laughs> I'm trying to loosen up here. So make it look interesting, right? Yeah. I can't do that. You make it look interesting. I look like that. Uh, that's good enough. <laughs> just nodding. Can I just nod? Can you sure. talk? Not that interesting. Feels good, you guys are excellent. Hey, you better say that. Yeah, you better be saying that. Damn right. I can see you through this glass now. Thank you. It's like five hours Tonight's top story, what seems to be the, what seems to be the dumbest crime in all of history has just taken place. A 50-year-old man, approximately 5'9", 170 pounds, tried to rob a bank at Lexington Plaza. At 3.15, he rushed in and shot three guards. He then ordered to have all the money placed into his bag. 3.30, he fled the bank with five bags filled with money. At 3... 
At 3.45, the police caught him and apprehended him wandering around a parking lot close to Lexington Plaza. When asked what he was doing... Yeah, screw they screwed up. They put the M&M picture. <laughs> Who did this? What? Don't they know? Q and press the button. That's it. Why did you... Maybe there's more to it. Our Brady is about to explode. It's not perfect. <laughs> I didn't even start yet, so I'm okay. You better not cut in the middle of me. <gasps> if I screw up, oh. it screws up everything. Oh my god. I mean, you need to do the show, man. I don't even remember. Yeah, you know, God forbid they cut in the middle of your show. We're never going to finish her show. That's a soap opera. Yeah. They're going to be screwing up their lines like crazy. So you got two hours. You didn't say cut. No. What? Yeah. 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 So let's hope they don't fuck up in there again. Yes. If they do, I'm gonna take the racket. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to CNN. I'm Brady Cross, and today's top story, what may just have been the dumbest crime ever has taken place. A 50-year-old man, approximately 5'9", 170 pounds, attempted to rob a bank in the Lexington Plaza. At 3.15, he rushed in and shot three guards. He then ordered to have all the money placed into his bags. At 3.20, he fled the bank with five bags filled with money. At 3.30, he was apprehended in the bank parking lot. Uh, when asked what he was doing in the parking lot, he could only respond, he couldn't remember where his fucking car was. In the entertainment news, this afternoon during an interview with MTV, controversial rap superstar formerly known as Eminem announced that he would be changing his name due to a million dollar lawsuit with a candy company who wishes to remain anonymous. When asked the company president why they decided to lay down this lawsuit, he responded, Said artist, going by the name of one of our most popular products, was bringing too much negativity to the company, and now that our sales are at peak, we didn't want to ruin anything. The superstar was then asked what his new name was going to be. He was still unsure at this time, but he was thinking about Skittles or Mr. Big. Thank you, Brady. Earlier today in Teletubby Milan, Tinky Winky held a press conference announcing he's leaving the high group, the Teletubbies. Tinky says, there is not enough money to go around, and I don't have huh? chump for change. Everybody knows I'm the most talented Teletubby around. He also admitted that he couldn't take being forced to smoke up before every show so he could have a more cheerful and stress-free environment to impress on TV. When we asked the producers about what they had to say about this, they had no comment. To end on a more positive note, Amongst Tinky's future plans are singing and opening up his own gay bar. Thank you very much. Have a good night. And I hope, I hope you've enjoyed CNN News. Thank you. Yeah, so that was a good show. Yeah, that was amazing. Did we actually
we do this in the middle? What is it? No, we have another show. Yeah, we do. Oh, I should have turned my head there. <laughs> You're always surprising me with what you're saying. I don't know. Saying. I just hope to God that this is the last paint. Yeah, honestly, me too. Yeah. But we do make that look professional. We have to knock oh, our heads off. Yeah. yeah. So get ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to CNN. I'm Brady Cross, and tonight's top story, what might have been the single most stupidest crime, has just taken place. A 50-year-old man approximately 5'9", 170 pounds, attempted to rob a bank in the Lexington Plaza. At 3.15, he strolled into the bank with a gun and shot three guards. He then ordered to have all the money put into, put into the three bags. At 3.20, he fled the bank with three bags full of money. At 3.30, he was apprehended in the parking lot of Lexington Plaza. When asked what he was doing in the parking lot wandering around for so long, he just responded, he could not find his fucking car. In entertainment news, this afternoon, with an interview with MTV, controversial rap superstar Eminem announced that he would be changing his name due to a million dollar lawsuit. The lawsuit was handed down by a candy company who wishes to remain anonymous. When asked the company's president why they decided to pursue such a lawsuit, they responded, Said artist going by such name of one of our most popular products was bringing too much negativity towards the company. And now with the sales at their highest peak, they did not want to ruin anything. The superstar was then asked what he would be changing his new name to. He was unsure at this time, but was thinking along the lines of Skittles or Mr. Big. Thank you, Brady. Earlier today in Teletubby land, Tiki Winky had a press conference announcing his leaving of High Group, the Teletubbies. Tinky says, there is not enough money to go around. I don't even have chump change. Everybody knows I'm the most talented Teletubby in, in the group. He also admitted that he couldn't take being forced, being forced by the producers every day before the show to smoke up so he could have a more stress-free and relaxed impression on TV. When we asked the producers about this, all they could say was no comment. To look on a more positive fact, uh, Tinky Winky is going to be opening his own gay strip club and he's going to be starting his own singing company. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy CNN News live here with Lydia and Brady. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Yeah. So, yeah. That was pretty good. I'm proud yeah. of that one. Because if not, someone's going to get me.
Nick. Okay, where are we bringing this? Good job, everybody. Holding it. 